what happened last time? Uh, we left uh, the town. We uh, drove for a while, encountered some bad guys that uh, <laughs> you you told that these weren't the droids you were looking for, and they agreed and left you alone. Uh, traveled some and made camp for the night. Is that correct? I believe. Yes. Yeah. And kind of checked out that daytimer guy. Did you, what was that, Cass? And kind of uh, freaked out that daytimer guy when uh, Cass yeah, put when... on that Raider mask. Raider mask was, yeah, he, he doesn't understand. He's still kind of iffy on you now. I can't help it if they don't understand the flaws in their system. Are they flaws, though? Yes. They've had this system for a long time. And yet. It seems to be working for them. It's more. Is it, though? <laughs> How is it not? They're <laughs> getting sucked into uh, swamp and lava pools. But what does that have to do with the masks? I'm just saying, maybe if they uh, weren't relying on this Slayer mask that's apparently missing in order to have a leader, that would be going better. So judgy. Sun comes up. It's lighter. Good morning. Morning. Uh, day timers at the wagon. Just checking the. Uh, he had the wheel replaced, uh, so your makeshift wheel didn't have to keep on going on the journey in the last time you were in. Uh, you didn't see that, but. He's checking everything. He's looking over the wagon, making sure, making sure everything's secure. Uh, your horses were secured overnight and they had a little graze time around where they were hitched up. Uh, there you go. So I asked day, day timer, um, are there any other preparations you have to do before we can uh, leave? Uh, I haven't eaten breakfast. Okay, that's fair. I'm also hungry, now that you mention it. He, what uh, do we have? He, he pointed to uh, uh, some eggs and some potatoes. These are right, like, potatoes, man. Does, is it just like the the actual eggs and potatoes, or did he cook them? He has not cooked them. He was oh, okay. check, checking his wagon. <laughs> he points out also a uh, frying pan. Looks like somebody wants you to work. I uh, check around to see if I can find some herbs that will go with his eggs and potatoes. Uh, roll us nature. I think you like nature better. Sorry, trying to get all the right get to the right browser window. You find some uh, long grass uh, and some uh, salva root that would uh, complement the meal. Who's cooking? I thought he was. He's working on the wagon. He's tightening ropes and, and such. I have no idea how to cook, so naturally, I'm going to volunteer. Um, okay. And since we all know that, I say no. Do you have any other suggestions? Learn to cook when you're the only one that has to eat it. Um, I'll cook. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go survival on that. You uh, burn the eggs, 
and undercook the potatoes and you threw you chop up the the long grass and the sava root and just throw it everywhere on there uh and you put it on plates for everyone instant karma um, watch i would have rolled a 20. <laughs> <laughs> if you want you could roll to see what you would have done what the what what was wrong with X trying this? Again? Tavi? Do you remember the last thing she tried to cook? <laughs> right now I'm remembering this thing in front of me <laughs> very strongly. <laughs> I'll, I'll go gather some more food. Daytimer grabs a plate and just starts eating. So do I. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> we don't have time for that. <laughs> Nothing in here is lethal, right? I look at Tavi and I say, "Thank you for the meal." Daytimer, Daytimer does not seem to be affected with his dwarven constitution. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's not. <laughs> I've heard you're not supposed to eat raw potatoes. <laughs> Narahito, I... make a constitution check. Oh, here Our we save. go. Constitution save. Constitution save, okay. Woohoo! You immediately just start throwing up. I am not gonna... I'm gonna politely pretend to eat this. Yeah, I uh, I think Hazemir probably had like the first spoonful halfway to his mouth <laughs> when Naruhito started puking. He's just like, Mm. Mm -mm. I go ahead and pull the dried fish out of my the rations we had from before out of my bag and Dude, you just start eating it? In front of everybody. <laughs> I made you guys eggs and I won't even eat my own cooking. <laughs> Why do these digital dice betray me every time? They gotta keep it interesting, man. Can't be yeah. predictable. Because <laughs> fuck you, Drex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be polite. I'm trying in to particular, have a meal. fuck you. But in particular, <laughs> they betrayed both of you. You should be joining forces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back to back betrayals. What the hell? You only had to roll like a four, <laughs> and you would have been fine. <sighs> okay, so you're eating fish. Uh, what about the other two? Yeah, I'll I'll pull some dried fish out of my rations, um, and uh, get um, I don't know, clear of the the the, the vomit zone? zone. Yeah, the splash zone. There we are. Roll a uh, hang on. Let me think about this. This is I got to do this. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I wasn't spraying everywhere. I, I kept it. You know. Weren't you? You rolled the one. Tough. You were spraying everywhere. <laughs> Projectile vomiting, bro. Narito, roll a uh, performance check. You put out the fire. <laughs> Well, the... well, we don't have to worry about that this morning. So, cool. Yeah, Excellent. yeah. I just wipe my mouth on my shirt and just, I'm just so disappointed. <laughs> Take timer noticed that uh, there was more, so he just grabbed an extra plate and ate it too. Okay. Just like mother used to make. <laughs> In interesting mother. I cast Goodberry and hand one to Narahito. Thank you. I appreciate that, Alexandra. So everybody uh, benefited from a long rest and have their spell slots back, their hit points back. If you use hit dice, you can have up to half your level rounded down, so two. Is everybody happy?
Okay. Um, he gathers the plates in the frying pan and uh, dumps everything out and puts it back where it was. He said, we should get going if we want to make uh, dark and frost by morning, or by, by night. <laughs> by morning, yeah, by night. By ever. I climb into the wagon. I will get on my horse. I'll also get in the wagon. I will also give the horse a good berry. <laughs> the horse is pleased. If and, he was uh, in any no, way offended by the breakfast, he now has one more hit point than before. He kind of nuzzles you. And, Aww, and thanks. Friend! Does that mean I have one more hit point as well? Yes, it will add... Uh, like, so if you had any damage or anything, the good berry will add plus one HP. Oh, okay. The breakfast did not take away any of your hit points. But it makes the berry made you feel good. Did you eat it? The berry? Yes. You feel hydrated and, and much better. Are you uh, horsing it up? Okay. So you, friend. Tra you travel for about an hour. Um, let's see, who's first in the list? That would be Exandra. Roll a D100. Okay, hold on. Ooh, I rolled a 45. Does that mean I won something? You did. And we don't we don't need a map for this, but you won two hyenas. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Puppies! It's Lion King, bitch. I'm Simba. They don't seem to like you very much. Which one did. is Whoopi? <laughs> they don't tell you their names. Just scream at them until they tell I, you, Jess. I can tell by the voice. They uh, seem to not like you at all and want you to roll initiative. Damn it. I'm guessing we don't have the element of surprise in this situation. Oh, I need to do the thing, don't I? No, they found you. Shit. Uh, click your token, then roll initiative. I'm feeling strong. Okay, two of you are on horses, two of you are in the cart. They're kind of in front of all of you. I would imagine that maybe the horses were riding side by side with the cart, and they're all just in front of you, uh, probably about 15 feet away. So if you want to get off the horse and or get off the cart, we'll call that one uh, f section of five movement. So you should all be able to get in range. Alexandra, you're up. Yay! Uh, I'm going to... How much flourish can I put into this? 
<laughs> paint me a word picture. Excellent. Uh, I am going to lean forward on my horse and uh, you don't kick horses to get them to go faster. You like whatever. Squeeze. We're gonna yeah, I squeeze. We're gonna charge these motherfuckers. And I have uh, a dagger on one side and a sword on the other, and I'm gonna use those as my first and extra attack and try and run between the two of them and get them on each side. So I'll roll two attacks, but that is the motion in which I wanna pursue that. Are you rolling two attacks on one or one on each? Uh, one on each because I can't uh, like I can't do two weapons in one attack. So it's one attack, one weapon, one attack, one weapon. Because I have an extra attack now. Because level five is awesome. Oh, before we get into it, does anybody else have any cool stuff they want to brag about for level five? <laughs> I also have two attacks now. So that's that's also awesome. As do I. And I well hell. <laughs> I believe I also took one that makes my um, spiritual weapons plus one. Yeah, I think you should talk about what makes yours happen, Jess, because yours is interesting since you're a warlock, but let's, let's kill some hyenas first. All, <laughs> all, right. all, all Taviana got was a rock. <laughs> I got is two new level three spells. I had level one and level two, and now I have two level three, and that's all I got. That's kicking. I'd rather have two attacks. Well, it's good if you made the spells worthwhile, if they're just like conjure water. You know, right. That doesn't help a lot, but it could help in some situations. It could situations. be fun. Get you some moonbeam, girl. Throw some water on those puppies. Conjure, throw snowball. <laughs> Spends three rounds making snowball. <laughs> Here's the thing. If it, if it was conjure water being out in the wilderness, that would come in handy. <laughs> Not yeah. when you're with a ranger. Didn't really help with the cooking, but whatever. <laughs> wow. Woo! First finger of the day. Go. Hit. Sweet. That hits. That was for the one on the right. That's for the um, one on the left. Okay, so damage, damage. Dead, dead. Fucking sweet. The rest of you are like, I don't even need to get off my horse or the cart. <laughs> right? I was I'm gonna draw my bow, plan. but I'm sorry. I had a move. I had one move. I conjured these beasts. I took them down. Cass, Cass <laughs> was all excited, and I was gonna do animal um, friendship. Oh. I'm never going to do animal friendship first. I'm always going to try and kill them. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to trot back and uh, be like, well, then, is it possible for me to, would hyena hide be worth anything? Are you asking me? Yes, sir. Are you asking Daytimer? Uh, yes, Daytimer, via vis a vis to you. I think maybe someone would want these. Excellent. I'm going to skin those hyenas. Are you going to take your time and do it right, or are you going to do it quickly? Uh, I want to say take my time and do it right, because we're not in a super rush. We have all day. But how long does that take? He said you kind of need to go now if you want to get there by nightfall. Uh, I guess uh, half an hour to get it pristinely done. Then I'm I'm gonna do I can do that. I'm gonna do that. Actually, Naruhito, do you know how to to skin hyenas? I mean, I could give it a try. Does Tavi? As Anybody a druid, I yeah, do, I'll do one of them for you. So Just we'll like, do. We can cut take, back to fifteen. Just do that. Teamwork. Let's, I'll give you survival or nature. You do a nice. very nice job. You also do a very nice job. You got the entire pelt. Noise. Well done. And I'm going to ask a uh, day timer. So do you mind if I store these in the back of your things? So we can sell them when we get to town. 
Wagon. Sorry, he your says, wagon. Uh, he says if you put them on top uh, with the fur side down, it'll start to cure and tan by itself. Excellent. Let's do that. I'm going to do that. You do that. And then, Kaz, I think you should explain just a tidbit about your warlock extra attack since that's a unique feature because I think that's super cool. Yeah. So warlocks get a special thing called Eldritch Incantations. Um, and before, I was supposed to have two, and I didn't know about them at all, so I didn't have any. And then I leveled up to five, at which point I got an extra one, and then I learned some things. Um, <laughs> so now I have three. One of them is the improved packed weapon, um, which initial, it essentially, one of those words, um, means that my spiritual weapons that I summon are plus one. Um, and then there's Mask of Many Faces, which allows me to cast the Disguise Self spell at will without using a spell slot. And Thirsting Blade, which is only available once you reach fifth level, um, which allows me to attack twice instead of once with my packed weapon when I take the attack action. My jealousy is tantamount. I'm going to have to play a Warlock in another campaign someday. I do enjoy the Warlock so far. Cool. So you got that going. Uh, travel for about another hour. And Casimir, D100, please. What do I win? Is it the puppy? You win four hobgoblins. Ooh. Definitely not the puppy. We had two smelly puppies. That's the best kind. We still have some of them. Parts of them. Four hobgoblins. Uh, I will put out the initiative order again. I did one better. I did exactly the same. It's so nice being able to find my token now. <laughs> I kept just clicking Drex's and then trying to roll initiative and it was not cute. <laughs> it sounds cute. Your face is cute. Your face is cute. <laughs> I apologize to everyone who had to see that and their future children. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Hob's gonna go. Damn it. Uh, he moves forward uh, towards. Let's see. You were on the cart. You were on the cart. So Brittany's going after you. I'm does next it, to the cart, yeah. Does a 21 hit? Oh, yeah, that does. That definitely, yeah, that hit. Five points of damage. Yeah. 
Alexandra? Yes. It's your turn. Excellent. Uh, so I'm assuming that since he hit me, he got close to me, right? He did. Sweet. The other one's also about 15, 20 feet away. I'm gonna... Other, all of them. I'm not just one other one. Three other ones. Yeah, I'm gonna... Glower at him and then give him the, the business end of my short sword. Does a 13 hit? Does not. Well, that's okay, because I'm gonna hit him again. Try. Son of a bitch. That one also does not hit. Damn it. Okay. I I got I got nothing else. Otherwise I'm gonna get an attack of opportunity. So I'll I'll stay. Uh Lynn comes forward right next to Hob. It's kinda how they always No, I, there's usually something between them. <laughs> and rolls an eleven. Also against Alexander. Yes, but and me too is going to go after uh, Taviana. Did he not understand the naming structure? They just rolled wrong. <laughs> Their dice really have a problem with them. Um, that's a uh, fourteen hit, Taviana. Hang on. No. Okay, Casimir. Yes. Um, Are you sitting in the back of the cart? Um, practicing was, puppet shows. Was, yeah. Where? Well, not not the puppet shows today. Um, are they surrounding the cart, or are they like coming at us head on, or? Like before, I imagine you guys horses were side by side. Uh, you're like in the back of the cart. You can still mm -hmm. get to probably any of them you want. Um, they were 15 feet away from the front. Let's say it's five to get down and another five to get to the rest of the rest of them. So that's 25 feet of movement if you want to get to the very back one. Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> I'm going to use my action to summon a spiritual weapon. Um, I'm going to summon the battle axe. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Sanctuary. Does your spiritual axe have a name? Um, no. I Because it's a different weapon. It's just whatever I'm feeling like today. So, mm -hmm. Um. So Gob is in the back. Hob, Lynn, and Gob, no, Hob, Lynn, and me too are in the front. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll put Sanctuary on um, Exandra. And then I guess, like, whichever one's closest to me, I'm going to go up to it and uh, talk some shit and then take a step out of its attack range. Okay, I think and me too was on, let's say your left, okay. and uh, Hob and me too. No, Hob and Len are on the right. Do I need to draw this real quick? I think so. Hob and and me too were both attacking Alexandra, weren't they? Right. So they're on the right. I'm on the right hand side of the carriage. Okay. Um. Like, if you're in the carriage, yeah. I'm on your right. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, then I'll go for whichever one of them is closest to the back of the carriage. And they'll say, you made the bad choice today. And we'll then I'll take a step back. We'll All right. Hob. Cool. So I'm going to take that attack of opportunity. Has not attacked since you cast the spell, though, right? Hmm? Wait. What? Oh, you're, you, oh, you go up to him and come back? Is that what you said? Yeah. Hellish, Hellish Rebuke? Okay. Yeah. Sure. He doesn't like what you just said to him with the things. Does a 15 hit? Um, probably. Yes, it does. Three points of damage. And then I... <laughs> I, uh, I take the hit and smile at him and raise my hand and fire just starts coalescing as I try and hit him with it. I like the visual. He needs to make a dexterity save. Fourteen, so he takes full damage of nine. Yeah, yeah. Then I think we said it was Hob, right? Yeah. Okay. That it? Yep. Taviana. All right. I'm going to cast Conjure Animals. And I want two brown bears. You have now, uh, is there any roll or anything for that? You just get them, right? Just get them. You have two brown bears. How does, what's his face feel about that? Oh, daytimer's not in there. I just assumed he wasn't fighting. As a wee merchant dwarf. She'll go next. He says, Hobgoblins. All right, so um, do my animals get to attack on this round? Uh, can you link the spell? If you don't, I can look it up. Roll initiative for summon creatures as a group, which has its own turn. So roll, uh, is it just like a regular bear? Brown bear, grizzly, what, what did Brown you say? Brown bear, yes. Two of them. So roll a d20. OK. 
Okay, so they'll go right after Naruhito. Uh, you have to give them a command. Oh, right. when we get when we get to the top of the order, I'll reorganize this so it's less confusing. Oh, I can do it now. I didn't know you could drag those. That's cool. Is that your uh, only thing? What's the command? Um, I'm going to have them attack Gob and Hob. Okay. One each. And that's the end of your turn? Yes. Date timer is going to go after the one next to you, Taviana, because that's where he is. <laughs> he messes. Oh, second attack. Also misses. <laughs> that's good because she walked away. Just saw her over there. Naruhito. So I'm going to use uh, my longbow and attack um, Hob and Gob. Okay. Uh, first, I'll attack uh, Hob. That does not hit. And then I will attack. Uh, attempt to hit uh, Gob. That also does not hit. You need a roll 20 dice witch or something. Something. <laughs> that is the end of my turn. I stay seated on the, on the, on the wagon. <laughs> Did you just pull out your arrows and like try and whack them? You know, I didn't even pull out the bow. I just kind of pulled out two two arrows from the from the quiver and just threw them threw them at them <laughs> ineffectually, just like long darts. You know, did not hit. Sorry. Daytimer's like, hey, maybe you should use the bow next time. <laughs> Taviana Bear won. Okay, so I don't have. Oh, okay, so I do have a brown bear character sheet. It's probably the same. Uh, plus five to hit for a bite, plus five for a claw. You have two attacks one is bite and one is claw. See, you got two attacks this time. And this is on yeah. uh, Hob. Hob does not uh, take anything from that. Okay. Is that the claw or the bite? That was the claw, the last one. And who who was that? That was Hob. Hob? Okay, Hob's dead. Sweet. <laughs> is, is it now Bear Two? Yes. Okay, and this is for Gob. That definitely misses. What's up with that? Your bears are not good at biting. They don't like the taste of goblin, apparently. Which is fair. Like Naruhito with your breakfast. Gob is also dead. That's Goblins two. would have loved that breakfast. <laughs> Exandra, Lynn, and me too are still standing. In front of me? I think it was... Me too, at least, is in front of you. I thought it was Hob and Lynn. No, it was, uh, it was and me too. 
Okay, either way, let's say one's on one side, one's on the other. Let's say, and me too is by you, and Lynn is by who was the other horse? That was Taviana, right? Okay, so those two are left. So you're going for and me too? I sure am. Let's try this again. Was a 19 hit? Yes. I understand your confusion, so because I mean, obviously a twenty-five hits, but how would you know if anything else did? <laughs> Is it dead yet? I hit him with my short sword. It's not dead. Excellent. I'll hit him again. Okay. You try and you succeed. It is dead. Yay! Excellent. Woo! Lynn is going to go. And Lynn's over by Taviana, right? And who, is, who else was over there? Is that you, Jess? Uh, I was over... Uh, you were on the other side. Yeah, I was over by Alexandra. I think Taviana's by herself. With Where's our Ojito? I'm on the wagon beside a daytimer. Does a uh, 12 hit? Who? Taviana. Okay. Casimir. Yay! Uh, Do some heroic shit. Can, can I get around to him? Yes. Sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna run around the wagon to the guy and hit him with my spirit my my spiritual weapons my spectral battle axe. Let's see this wind up. It's a swing. And just like super excited because this is the first time that I've gotten to like hit somebody twice with it. So thrilled. It's kind of buzzing in your hand. It, it feels right, and you miss. Feels right, and you whiff. Welcome to my world. <laughs> no. <laughs> I whisper to it. That is not how we do things. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you should have told him the direction that it should change. Higher. Or, or cussed a lot, one of the two. <laughs> you, were, you were supposed to hit the thing. Um, let's see. I just went mysterious. Um, no, I don't have anything else. Very well. Taviana, you're up. All right. So I'm going to hit Lynn with a firebolt. Okay. That hits. That kills. Congratulations. You won a dead hobgoblin. Now, do uh, Smokey and the bandits stay with you until you unsummon them, or how's that work? One hour. One hour? Cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell this battle axe that uh, next time I will summon Simitar. Maybe it will not disappoint me, and then dismiss it. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, they are up to one hour of concentration. You gonna keep concentrating? 
I think I am going to keep concentrating because um, yeah. we're about to make another roll and we don't know what's going to happen, I'm sure. Uh, Kesner, yeah. that was you, right? Oh, uh, what? That what was, was your encounter. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. An and hour goes by. Nothing. An hour goes by. All of a sudden, you can't concentrate anymore and the bears go away. And then, <laughs> oh. Narahito, I'm doing these an hour increments, guys. That's, that was my point all along. <laughs> No, no, I, that's that's fair. I'm, I'm just I thinking great. The first one was a half hour. No, you spent it was a, an hour after traveling. Then you spent a half an hour skinning, and then another hour passed, and you did the next encounter. We spent so, fifteen minutes skinning because we both did it at the same time. True. Either way, uh, the encounter was an true. hour later. I've noted that it's been two hours and fifteen minutes that you were you've been traveling so far today. Narihito, D100, please. Well, incoming elementals, guys. Uh, hold on. Here we go. Shit. Better than... Yeah, good. I mean, sure. Why do you have to say things like that to the dice, man? Uh, the dice have been showing their true colors to me all day, man. Because you can't swear in front of your of Castile. <laughs> So um, get her what, what should be the what should be the um the consequences of that? There should be consequences because like an anti swear jar, now. like an opposite of a swear jar. Exactly. Yes. That. <laughs> really, guys? Come yes, on. Yes. Yes. How, how long have has you it been? met us? How I long have I known you? I look. I, Years now. <laughs> Several. I'm done. I'm done. If somebody was gonna have an anti swear jar, who do you think it would be? I mean, you've, okay. You've been to her house. You've eaten her food. Look, I have nothing but love for her. That is why I don't cuss in front of her, man. I don't know. I mean, oh, oh, so you, can you hate us? Now. <laughs> you can take. You can take. The man out of the south, not the south out of the man. I'm sorry, but man. Why That's doesn't this raised. apply to Wade? Is my question. I don't cuss in front of him either. You cuss all the time when you're playing art. Yeah, you can't yeah with it people slips. and say that you don't cuss in front of them. It slips, and then I try and like you know. He's it on push to talk, so he day. cusses, but he doesn't. He doesn't let me hear it because he's on push to talk. <laughs> exactly. Except when he does accidentally swear, he doesn't go, "Oh shit, Wade can hear me." He goes, "Oh shit, Cass can hear me." <laughs> when all of a sudden <laughs> here we go <laughs> let's draw this I'm going to do a quick drawing oh, that, that's going to take a, a little time is that okay? do it yeah, yeah we're, we're busy coming up with shit. a reverse swear jar plan how about is I it... use one of the previous maps so it's not where you are but it it'll work anyway do you Watch, we're gonna. What ends up happening is there's a magical genie in front of us that can transport us. That's what's gonna happen, right? That's what a 62 gets you? Yeah? <laughs> no? Yeah, but it can only transport you to hell. Okay, no. It's not what I was bargaining sorry, for. Sorry, the, uh, the fire. <laughs> fire elemental plane? Is that where Asmodeus hangs out? No. No, Asmodeus no. is different, I believe. City of Brass, um, I believe. Yeah, rest. There we are. Yeah, is a demon who hangs out well somewhere in the nine hells. Gosh darn it! All the heck fire. Sorry you had to hear that outburst. <laughs> it's okay. I'm doing things really. <laughs> there, there's, you can see me concentrating. <laughs> so for the reverse square jar, every time he stumbles, instead of saying a thing or misquotes someone so as to admit their swearing, he owes you two monies. I don't know. I kind of want instant gratification. Okay, what does that even mean? It means Venmo that shit. <laughs> What's Venmo? 
Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what is Venmo? Uh oh. <laughs> it's a um. Oh God, what would? How would you describe this, Jess? It's, it's like an instant. It's, money yeah, it's an app service. that would allow him to pay you instantly. Ah, okay. Third third party, so it's not bank affiliated. Well, a simple one would be that he has to say three cuss words in a row then in front of me. Anytime he avoids <laughs> one, he has to say three. And actually, I could come up with the combination that you have to say. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. What is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's 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 take a moment. Let's let's I'm excited about bring, this. bring it down a bit like. How would you even enforce that? You wouldn't even know if I was trying to cuss or not. That, you know, that's... Sometimes it's obvious. Most of the times it's Have obvious, let's be real. Have you out on it every single time? They or me? <laughs> oh, you guys saw all that, didn't you? The maps and everything. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know I was on that one, but okay. Okay, UC six bugbears right, like so D and D classic. Ah! I haven't seen a bugbear since like the nineties. Do they have any oolong tea? Let me check. Six bugbears. Cease. No, no tea of Damn. any kind. That'd be great if they were all just sitting there having a little bugbear tea time. <laughs> Clark started a quiet tea revolution. Sorry, Clark is a the Adventure Zone reference for anyone following along. I did it. I'm trying to hurry. Benny, you're on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the mummy that reference. That was a, the mummy <laughs> reference. <laughs> Look, man, Brendan Fraser is on my mind. Oh, I love you so much right about now. God. Hang you on. You should just have I little pop-ups. Believe... I can't believe Wade missed a, a, a movie reference. Benny, I thought, you, I thought you said Betty, and I wasn't really listening. Uh, Benny, yeah, okay. He's got shit to do, man. He's busy. <laughs> Wade, Wade has like shit. an eidetic memory when it comes to movies. That's fucking awesome. I wish. I wish I had that. So I've been, you know, I, at night I like to sleep to movies, and I saw The Mummy, and I'm like, oh, I've seen that too many times. But it was the... Uh, the new one with uh what's his face tom, tom cruise, cruise. cruise that was yeah. terrible yeah i was only there for sophia batella who's the actress who played uh the mummy because she's pretty and awesome and makes a badass villain but tom cruise ha, oh, please come on you're killing me i just feel like the original was so good that you don't really need to do anything to it well you know there were ones before what you're calling the original yeah they're trying to reboot i don't the, believe that <laughs> oh my god i choose not to accept that information two of these bugbears only just so you know they have capital letters on the name <gasps> oh i thought you were gonna say they also saw the mummy and i was like what <laughs> The actual original mummy. <laughs> I just want to take a public poll about whether or not The Shape of Water counts as the Universal's uh, Dark Universe reboots. It was too good for that. See, that's how I feel too. But sorry, I didn't realize.
it's just like I just want Guillermo del Toro to do like all the monster movies in the world, but like oh, in yeah. this in this way that he's been doing it, where it's like like I want him to do Wicked. I think that would be really cool if he turned Wicked into a movie. Him in particular, because it falls in that that place where it's like the ambiguous villain where it's like they could be have other motivations and also because his visual style is so fucking epic i still want doug jones to be the witch though ha no i want him well maybe okay so i've come up with the three swear words um and this is this is the initial ones because as this continues to happen they will get worse so, for right now, if we catch Drex not cussing, cussing under his breath or unmuted or anything because he won't cuss in front of me, he has to say, fuckity fuck fuck. That was exactly oh, what I was cute. thinking. I swear to God, I almost said that aloud because that's exactly what I thought. Um, the first time I heard that one was from Tori. Back to game. I'm ready to go. Sorry it took so long. I didn't have these pre rolled This is random encounters, so let's go. Okay. Narahito, you're up. So I'm going to attack the uh, bugbear all the way to, to the left, the yellow. Yellow. Okay. With my longbow. Unfortunately, that doesn't even hit the ground. No, it hits the water. Did did Day you forget to use your bow again? Daytimer no. passes me he, the bow. He used the bow this time without the arrows. So just <laughs> I just threw, threw the, the bow. The bow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, you pulled on it. You just forgot to load it. No, I'm just, just it, testing it, the string. It I believe, I'm not going to remind you, but you get another attack. Uh, I, yes, sir, I do, and I will do so. With the, you know what? Hold on. I'm just going to... Uh, uh, all right, one last time. One last time with a longbow. Good Lord. It's got to work. Does it, though? It doesn't really work this time. You managed to notch the arrow this time, at least, and it does go towards him, but it just misses. You're dialing it in, man. You're dialing it in. Are you sure you're proficient with that thing? You know, I thought I was, but uh, it's been a very strange day. Maybe you should refresh Rural 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's it. So, Alexandra. I'm going to look over and say, please, don't strain yourself. Oh, you know what? I, I guess I guess Alexandra and Taviana switched places, but they're on the correct horse. But I, I guess you got tired of being on that side of the wagon, so you moved to the other side. Fair enough. Scenery is different over there. I wasn't going to comment on it. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm over here now. What you going to do? They came for you. Bad oh, God. Yeah. Bad, no, what are these? Bad boy. Uh, bears. Bad bears. Bears. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they hug for you, bug bears? Hug bears, not bug bears. Oh my god, I'm out. Oh, that's so good. That is pretty good. Yeah, that's that's up we there. We should pro protest trademark or something with signs that say that. Trademark and copyright right there, guys. No one can use that. That's us. <laughs> It is right up there with uh, where werewolves, not swear words. Yes. <laughs> Tony, I love you, but you do know that that's not how copyrights and trademarks work. Yeah, right? I know, man, but I... <laughs> Anything you guys it's, say... I was trying to call dibs on this, you know? Like, that, Sorry, I know it has no weight, but... This is being broadcast on Twitch.tv. Yeah, I know. The, game. the intellectual property of everything contained in here belongs to Live to Game, which, as we all know, <laughs> is me. <laughs> so what I heard is I can't believe you own D and D now. <laughs> I'm wearing the shirt. I'm an employee. Yes, you can do the design and then he'll print the shirts. He's got the tattoo too. 
Uh, you're up, Alexandra. Are you going to do anything yeah. or are you just going to smile? No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking real hard about how I want to, how I want to do this. Sorry. I think I also am going to uh, take a pass at my longbow. So I'm not going to move. I'm just going to do a longbow attack. Can I just put this out there? Maybe he just needs somebody to show him how to do it. I know. That's why I said don't strain yourself, man. No, that's not why. But <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that might have been one of those swear moments. Here comes the crit. That hits. Yay! Uh, I went for the yellow one, by the way. Okay. Should have called that out earlier. And I also get an extra attack, so I'm going to hit him again after I do the damage. Do the damage. How's 11 feel? Yeah. Yo. It feels like you hit him for 11. It feels like I hit him again for six. He feels bloodied. You good? Yep. And I am actually going to take a step back 15 feet with my horse. Okay. Um, on the horse. I'm going to stay on the horse. So this is a mounted, it was a mounted attack. I don't think you can move the horse, so. I'll let you, that's what I'm telling you. Like about there? Perfect. Okay. Purple's up. I want to hug you. I want to <laughs> hug you. Give me a hug. Sorry, you're up front, so. Uh. They're slightly oversized, I think. Nah, that seems accurate. Oh, no, they're so small. Oh, my God, it's so tiny. I don't know what I can't like. hit it now. I give you a hug. I love you. I'm just going to scoop that shit up. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to put him in a little satchel. I'm going to take him to fuck home. Can they speak? Do they have language? No, I don't think so. Hang on. Yeah, they speak common. <laughs> and, and goblin. Oh, God. He wants to hug you. Uh, does an 11 hug you? No. He doesn't manage to hug you. Okay, and only one attack. Casimir. Yes. Um, I'm going to get out of the wagon and go up to the one that just, uh, like, I don't know, probably did try to hug her <laughs> and say, <laughs> Helen well met. Hello. Is this fucking bugbear Adele? What the hell was that? <laughs> that was a guy who doesn't normally try to talk high, but did. And his voice <laughs> track is, I haven't really gone through puberty yet. Did it actually say hello, uh, though? It, it did swing at her like it was... Wait, hang on. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I should have read this thing more. <laughs> oh, and uh, I'm sorry. It was a 12. Did a 12 hit? Wait, did I say 11? So it was a 13. Did a 13 hit? Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, it looked like she, he was, or she, it's kind of hard to tell with bugbears, uh, that it was swinging a morning star at her. Just trying to paint a word picture for you a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> can I say um, that... Um, that is not a very good way to go about making friends. It was a hug. That is not how you hug. That is how I hug. That is, yeah. No, that is not a hug. That is an attack. Hugs are friendly and they don't hurt. You should show what, what a hug is. Okay, this was more than six seconds, so what do you want to do? All right. Um. I mean, I don't... But... Can I talk to them? 
realized that this was I, I let you talk to him he was out of initiative so if you want to talk to him he's not going to talk again until his turn uh, all right i'll uh i'll sign a scimitar okay does it have a name mr pointy okay i know i named my axes in the other one and they hit pretty good so just throwing that out there what are you gonna scimitar purple i i can't um it takes an action to summon it so okay and you're five feet away <laughs> you're just posing for the scimitar now just prepping for next time but also i don't want to hit it i want to be friends red's turn did it hear the conversation we were having about hugs? Give me a hug. He's going to try and hit Daytimer up on his wagon. He really did not hit. In fact, he hit himself in the face with a morning star. See, this would not have happened if you were hugging correctly. Wait, if you just talked, you were muted. I heard you from the other side of the house. Am I muted? You were. Hello? I hear you now. Taviana, you. it's your turn. All right. So, um, so Kaz, we're going to try to make friends, huh? I always like friends. All right. What I would like to do, I was going to conjure two more bears, but. I'm gonna, can I get down from my horse and actually hug this guy next to You year? certainly can, yes. I am going to do that. Um, I am going to, in the process though, I'm going to place my hand on his, uh, the weapon. Morning star? Yeah, the morning star and hold it away and I'm gonna hug him and say, this is a hug. He doesn't like that, so let's do a contested strength roll. That's not a saving throw, that's just strength. Got it. Straight strength, yeah. You manage to push it away. And you give him a hug. That's a hug, dude. That's a, that's a true fact about me. <clears throat> I shouldn't just throw it to monsters. It's like any creature, really. So you're there? Because you got off your horse, right? Yep. Okay. Does that count as her action? I would say getting off the horse, holding his weapon and hugging him would be an action, yes. All right. Does he look like he's learned about hugs now? He He's kind of frightened that she's holding on to his morning star. Well, I assume she, like, stepped back and let go of it once the hug was over. Is that what you did? I let go of it, but my hand is still there kind of saying, you know, saying, keep this away. Hugs, not For pugilists. whatever good that does. I need to walk away real quick. I'll be right back. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Oh, man, no we're so good anything. at this. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about all of my characters and all of the monsters I've tried to befriend. Mm-hmm. 
it's almost like there's a unifying theme. Just trying to decide how much caffeine I can reasonably imbue in one day. Imbibe. Oh. Imbibe, yes. I mean, I guess that depends on where your line of reasonable is. I put some Baileys in mine. Nice. In your energy drink? No, no your she, caffeine. That yeah, your awesome, caffeine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Awesomely huge. This was a present from Jess. Hey, hey nice it one. was. I like how she didn't remember that until it's, after you said it. It's actually <laughs> the largest quantity mug I own. Well, no, there are some wider ones, but I like this one best. Can I get a close up for color? It's purple. Of course it is. Yeah. I know my audience. Okay. Uh, orange is up. I'm going to say he can get between the cart horses and Taviana's horse. Narajito. Yes? Um, could I retcon that um, when I got off the horse, I also sent it back away from stuff? Thanks. See, they just don't fit on this map. See your horses back there. That doesn't hit. Uh, nine. Is your armor better than nine? Yes, thankfully. Naturally, without armor, I think your armor is better than nine. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no hug. Yellow is going to shoot a longbow I guess it says ranged doesn't go to the specifics so going to do that at uh Alexandra so like it could be spitting we just don't know it, uh, let me see uh, wait, just uh, oh. one thing. Uh, you played orange, but you moved green. Yeah, he, he green tried to hit Narahito and missed. Then it was uh, yellow's turn. I thought that was orange that tried to hit him. And oh, I see what you did. I'm okay with your correcting me. I'm so used to it. That's three. <laughs> three for me. Four. four. Those no, are four. one was for Jess. That's three for me. <laughs> one for Jess. I'm totally winning this. And I know I can always win if I try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not a longbow. This is a javelin attack. Does an 18 hit? Alexandra. It does. Eight points of damage. Ugh. And That's cool. He wants to get on in on the hug fest. Wait, who is this that's attacking me? Yellow. Yellow with a javelin. Yellow moves closer to you, but just out of range. Blue is also going to javelin at Casimir. Rude. Does an 18 hit? Oh, yeah. Also eight points of damage. Cool. And stays there. Green is going towards Taviana. Uh, 
does a four hit? Narahito, you're up. Oh man, what a day. Um, I guess I will. Don't use your longbow. Unless you're attacking blue, I guess. But the rest would, well, maybe not green. But wouldn't the rest be a disadvantage? Just, just at all. It, uh, it doesn't work. I mean, don't tell me how to play my character. Um, I will use. No, you know. I was what? talking to the character. You know what? You. <laughs> you know, Cap. Uh, you know what? <laughs> All you had to say was, don't tell me how to live my life, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First of all, talking definitely does work sometimes. Do you not remember the bandits? Okay, but that was mostly mask, not talk. It was a little key, bit of both. Key proponent was mask, no, because if you didn't have the mask, there would be no talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think the persuasion was the deciding factor on that one. Again, without the mask... I don't know that we would have even had that opportunity. But it was a combination sure. of a great many things that led you to that point. In, and in Ferun, if you met someone and you were just naked, probably you would not be able to convince them of many things. Or you would have advantage on convincing them depending <laughs> on the situation. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to attack blue with my javelin. That hits. See? It's like a big arrow. You just need to learn the dynamics of it. Yeah, right? I need to work uh, on my smaller ones. Is, the, is this why you tried to throw the thing? Yes. And then with my second attack, I will... Actually, just for... Just for shits and giggles. Ha ha. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. We're so yeah. proud of you. It, well, if I just said for funsies, you'd be like, wait a minute. You normally don't say funsies. Um, I'm going to use my uh, longbow. <laughs> Let's see it. I told you it does not Damn it, work. What? <laughs> the string snaps. You can take I one think, action to restring it. I think Wade's trying to save me for myself with that one. Just the string snaps, you're done. <laughs> Do something else, man. No, the string snaps. That's probably the problem. It was a weak string. So you can spend one action to restring your bow. But not this turn. But not this turn. <laughs> Would you like to move at all, or are you going to stay on the cart? Maybe it's because you're on a cart. Uh, maybe. Um, sure, I will move in front of Kaz. I'm just going to remind everyone who's playing right now that all of these roles have zero to do with anything. <laughs> Mainly where our character is positioned. <laughs> but we can incorporate them into the story. I'm going to say you do not provoke an opportunity attack. It was like there, so there. Is it is it because he felt so bad about the broken bow? No, it's just because the bugbears aren't snapping to the grid very well. <laughs> In true D and D fashion, you know, don't you hate when you're walking down the street and you can't snap to the grid? Mm-hmm. Alexandra, what you got? Oh man, um. Each of these squares is five feet, right? Ish, yeah. You could probably snap to the grid. <laughs> Your bow hates you. You might want to think about replacing that. I know, right? Where I come from, we have these things called oath bows. Can can uh, you you could beg can my Casimir, father for one. 
Did Casimir uh, conjure us a spirit bow? Yes, now I can. Him, I can conjure ranged, ranged weapons. <laughs> no, he, he, no, 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 no. He okay. cannot use it. I agree. Yeah, he can't even <laughs> use his, so. <laughs> that, that isn't what I meant, but sick burn. Oh, you know who has it been going? Me. The guy on the car? Daytimer. <laughs> it's at the top of the round, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ish? yeah. He, he had a ten gonna, initiative, I thought. He's gonna he's gonna go now. Is he not in the list? No, he is not. I keep forgetting about that guy. Me too, I can never remember his name. He is very forgettable. He goes, since you guys forgot about him. Wasn't me. He pulls out his great axe and hits the one right next to him. Red? Uh, yellow. He's the guy on the... Oh, yeah, you're right. I looked at the wrong color. Uh, colors are hard. And he's going to swing again. And he misses. Did he miss twice? No, he hit the first one. He took oh. it, it took damage. So now, uh, Casimir, right? Nope, I read that wrong. He's Andrew. Uh, so does that mean that the red one is bloodied now, or does he still look fine? He doesn't appear to be bloodied. But he he looks like he's sad. Okay. Um, I am going to aim at the blue bugbear with my longbow. For how long? That long. <laughs> that hits. And I'm going to hit him again. He's bloodied. Shit. That does not hit. Okay, and then I'm going to misty step my shit off this horse. <laughs> to where? To 30 feet from where I am. Ah, oh, shit. Where do I want to go? The map is your oyster. I'm allergic to the map. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where is the best position for me to go in right now. Who all is bloodied? Yellow and blue. Yeah, I think. I'm trying to decide what I'm mulling over is whether I want to go away from the action or towards the action, considering that I am down to 27 hit points. So that's what you're seeing me mull over right now. No, keep it long range. Okay. 
Okay. Um, you can get in the water from here. I could be on the other side of the river. That's uh, 50 <laughs> feet. Uh, I'm going to go about 30 feet forward and left, so closer to blue, which I'll mark the where I'm going to be exactly. You can't move you? I can move me. I moved me. So right about there? Yeah, why is my shit not snapping? Yeah, it's, yeah, let's not worry about it too much. Cool. I put myself where I would like to be. Misty Step does not invoke an attack of opportunity, correct? As far as I know, no, because I'm teleporting. So I'm not passing them. I'm literally on just like boop, boop. There, I shared the spell. It doesn't say specifically, so you don't. Excellent. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Purple. Naruhito. Eighteen. Oh, that hits. Ten points of damage. That was off. You set up cuss word and you weren't keyed in. Is that the rule? Just saying. I was watching you. Do it. <laughs> Did you say it? Did you? Did you say a swear? I breathed out? <laughs> Do it, say it. Uh, all right, all right. Fuckity fuck, fuck. <sighs> One of these days you'll be on my level of swears. <laughs> Casimir, you may go now. Yay. Um, so I'm going to move around Naruhito up to the little purple guy and be like, you, you obviously are not learning. And then I'm going to hit him. These trees, by the way, are not trees. Good to know. Because I was just going to walk right on top of them. You said purple? Yes. Do a thing. Does it hit? It does not. Son of a bitch. Does that? That also does not. Son of a bitch. Is that all you'd like to do? Yeah, it's all I, I think we're at halfway right now, and this battle is going to take a little while longer. So why don't we take uh, five minutes, and we'll be back to finish this up after break. Welcome back, all of us. Looks like we might be missing one, maybe two, uh, but it's Red I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Sorry, cat things. I understand. Uh, red is going to attack Daytimer and hits himself in the foot. Mm. And he's bloodied. Taviana, you're up. In a shroud. Right. So, You're in a shroud. Your camera is partially covered, so you're kind of in a shroudy looking kind of thing. 
Oh, maybe it's just the lighting change. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Um, all right. So now we are doing uh, brown bears, two brown bears. So uh, I will need to cast that, though. And I'm commanding one to attack green and one to attack um, <sighs> orange. Like that? Indeed. They get their own initiative, right? What's what the little bear faces? It's going to look not unlike uh, uh, somebody who can shape lift, shape shift into bears. So a uh, straight twenty, I think, is their initiative, right? I'm looking to see if it's on the character sheet. There, I can roll it. Okay, roll twice. Roll, roll, roll once, sorry. 18.1, how specific? Um, and actually, I can click, well, no, I can't click their token, can I? No, never mind. Do they just fall into initiative? How do we do that? Or do they attack immediately? That's what you did last time I asked, but you didn't let them attack immediately. Okay. They have summoning sickness. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that it? Daytimer will continue using his axe. He crits. Uh, that guy's dead. So good. <laughs> the X isn't really centered, but you get the idea. And he's going to jump down and go after yellow. Hits again. Pan kills yellow. He goes, I got this side. Wow, okay. Orange is going to get, uh, like, I have all the turns in a row, don't I? Orange is going to, uh, of course, hit Norahito. Of course. Misses. Yellow is dead. Blue is going to javelin attack Xandra. For fourteen. How 
do they keep getting these high rolls? He crit. How come I can't crit? Good questions all. Green doesn't notice the bear behind him, but attacks Tevian. Uh, 20 hit. For 12. It seems bugbears are more potent than I remember from the 90s. <laughs> So I would like to attack purple with my longsword, uh, but since Taviana's behind it, does that mean I get flanking an advantage on the attack? Or on would which I? one? Purple. I think he was attacking you last time. I think both of those guys are facing you, and I don't mean to do that to be a dick, but I think that they were both attacking you. So, no. So flanking doesn't give a attack, doesn't give advantage on attacks regardless? Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what flanking I did. think it would give you advantage if he was not facing you. You're ah. not actually flanking him, you're facing Got him. Got it. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, uh, okay. Nope, nope. Makes sense. Fair. Okay. I will just uh, the normally hit um, purple with my longsword. Good luck. I'm pulling for you. That definitely hits. Maybe the sword's just your thing. First blood on purple. Jess, um, you were muted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said, uh, see, it is just the longbow that is broken. <laughs> Initially, uh, Narahiji just kept, keeps on going. He doesn't hear anything. Um, <laughs> second attack on the same bear. That hits. Bloody. And that's the end of my turn. Alexandra. Hey, Yo. What's up? Um, I am going to run up and stab that blue bear. Okay. But first I sneezed. Bless you. That might give you a, a better roll. You never know. That does not hit. You want to try again? And I even yeah, cast second attack. You cussed for her? Holy shit! I didn't cast that time. You know how the hilt of your sword has that leather wrapping on it? It's frayed on one end now. You gripped it too hard or something. I blame the sneeze. Is that all you'd like to accomplish in this turn? No, I'd like to hit something. <laughs> if you'd like with that last one, I can make you hit yourself. No, thanks. Okay. Um, I think that's all I've got, so yeah. Okay. Uh, Purple's alive. He just got hit by Norahito. He didn't like that, so he misses. Taviana, you have two bears at your ready. Here goes the first bear attack on green. Wait, I would like you to roll them at advantage because you are flanking. I was going to mention that, plus they are, they do have their backs to me. Thank you. Plus they aren't sure, those guys aren't sure that they're there yet because they weren't watching that side. And yes, it's just because she's my wife that I'm giving her advantage and not you. <laughs> I totally was thinking that. <laughs> uh, does not hit. 
That hits. Man, uh, which hits. which one was this? This was green. Okay, green takes thirteen. Second bear. Second bear on orange. Same situation. You suck at biting. You really do. You haven't bit once. And that misses too. Casimir. Yay! Bugbears, not bugbears. No, they are bugbears. We have investigated and found that they they're not bugbears. Definitely not care bears either. When you say not bugbears, it sounds like not tug bears. They are not that either. That hit. Does it... yay! Finally. This was who? Purple? The purple, yes. He's more bloodied, okay? Yay! <laughs> and now he's not bloody, he's not bleeding anymore. The bleeding stopped by your spectral scimitar. He's lying face down. <laughs> Excellent. And that is my turn. I can't mark him because the thing is off the map. Hang on. No, can't get it there. Look, everyone, I have finally done something. And purple gets the X. I really just can't reach him one more time. There we go. This will work. I'm pro. I'm super pro. Okay. Red's dead. Purple is dead. Taviana, it's your turn. All right. I would like to fire bolt orange. I'm sure many people share that. But can you? No, I cannot. Okay. You scared the bear. Is that all you'd like to accomplish during this turn? Speaking the intention into the world is the first step. Shout out to Big Kahuna. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Ho, ro, 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 roast, as he would say. Okay, day timer's up. Hang on, I was trying to determine if I wanted to do a healing. I don't think anybody's terribly low, though. Ha! Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm going to do a bonus action of healing word for um, X. Can you remind me of how that works? I believe it's 11. It's the 3 plus the yes, 8. Yes, 3 plus 8. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome. Um, was, is that a bonus action? Yep. 
That's sweet. Okay, so Dave Timer is going to move. It's kind of crowded on the other side, so he's going to go for blue. He missed. Oh no, Dave Timer. And he hit. Look, you remembered his name. I did. This is the first time. Suddenly he's real. <laughs> <laughs> Blue's dead. Is, he's, is he? Where did he go? You switched it. <laughs> you used the uh, red bugbear on the blue. Yeah. <laughs> And then daytime wearing the the bloop. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that was like 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to move towards green. About there. So it's just orange and green now, right? That is correct. And it's orange's turn, capital orange's turn. Uh, Norahito still likes you. Sixteen. Swing and a miss. Green. Taviana. 19. For seven. We're all intensely enjoying this cattail action. <laughs> Naruhito, you're up. Hopefully it'll give me some luck. So I will attack Orange with my longsword. That hits me, um, that character that's on the screen over there. This was Orange. Damn. First blood and bloodied. Good. And I will uh, attack him again. That also hits. Man, swords really are your thing, which shouldn't be surprising. He he didn't dig that. Alexandra. I, uh, so we have orange is the only one we have left and green, right? Correct. Orange looks to... worse off than green. I will longbow green. Sorry, orange. Okay. I'm not going to make it that the horse is there. So, uh, you have to shoot through the horse. So, uh, 21 hits. When Daytimer got off, he, he told the horses to back up a little bit. You sure she didn't just, uh... Like I, bent the, she I bent, bent the arrow. She bent the arrow? Yeah, I'm pretty much... Apparently, I'm really good at longbow, whereas Naruhito's really bad at it. He's dead. <laughs> He's just broken. Yay! Orange is dead! I'm gonna Run, aim at green for back. my next one. Okay. Daytimer ducks, and you must... Son of a bitch! And never so like heard you talking shit. <laughs> nerf, 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 nerf. Bears. All right. So can I redirect uh, the one bear that was attacking Orange now that Orange is dead? I mean, there's only one bug bear left anyway. Sure. Cool. First bear. They both attack. Okay. The bite is not good. 
Yeah, but they only get they get the two, and it's one of each. So. Yay! Hey, the bite hit. Yay! I see the damage as being blank. Me too. Weird. I think that needs some uh, attention. Hang on. Yeah, it actually has nothing in the hit thing. It's doing what it's supposed to do, which is stupid. It's a 1d8 plus 4. Hang on. <laughs> it's funny we lasted this long without knowing that. Okay. That was, I'm sorry, I haven't covered. That's orange is dead. So that's green. Okay. Miss. All right, second bear. Miss. Miss. I was hoping to finish him off. Sorry, guys. Casimir. Yay! Maybe I can kill something. He's up there. He's up. Oh. Is the purple one dead, too? Yep. Yep. Just green's left. Only green is left. Am I also flanking? I think. I. Okay. Yeah, now you're fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you run past the guy, like, all right, how's it going? We're just going to be back over here. And then you're going to attack. Yeah. Historically speaking. <laughs> that hits. Yay. It damage and then. Oh, that no. does not hit. He's wavering and That's woozy. Terrible use of advantage. Oh, go ahead and roll a single attack. I'll, I'm going to use your house rules on advantage. If you roll the same number. You get to re-roll one once, not and not keep going. If you get a nine now, it's going to stick. Okay. That does not hit. I like that. What's up, Taviana? All right, Firebolt, here it comes. Here comes the wind up. You're, you're not at advantage. So, okay, yeah, that, that kills him. That pitch, though. Damn. He had one hit point left that time, so they're dead. Woo! They're dead. And do they have anything on them? Do they have a strange, gross flesh pocket? And then we loot the bodies. Well, I think bugbears wear loincloths, so maybe they have just regular pockets. Yes, I would prefer that. I like the idea of them running around in those, like, really short shorts where you can see the pockets in the front that, like, teenage girls wear sometimes. Yeah. But they're bugbears. I'm with um, Chris all... on this one. <laughs> they all have uh, armor. It's hide armor. They all have uh, a morning star, and two of them have uh, thrown their javelins into the crowd. I'm going to say there's a total of about, let's say, six javelins. Speaking of javelins, I'd like to retrieve mine. 
Do you want the others, the six? I mean, sure, the more the merrier. So what about those other things? I don't, th I don't think the hide armor is better than mine, right? Wouldn't be better than, well, do you have leather? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, hide shouldn't be better than leather. leather. In total, from all of them, there's a total of 23 gold. Cool. They also all have shields that they were using, except for the blue guy. So there's five shields. Are we going to divide that gold up between us? So yeah, that's going to be six for everybody, and I'll do five. Are you paying um that guy? He's not. He's not quite the person yet. I only yeah, remembered his name. Put that name down, right? Day timer. Yay! Good job. <laughs> anyway, are you paying him? He did help. Oh. Let's, uh, can we switch off map? Date timer says, I don't need any. Thanks for helping me get to the city safely. Okay. Well, no. But I've already done the math. Well, he said he didn't want any, so that's fine. Okay, fine. So then six for y'all, five for me. Hey, Tony. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Hey, Drexhawk. Sir. Would you like to try to restring your bow? I would like to try to restring my bow. I'm going to say sure? you had it. You had an extra string on you because you're, you know, it's what you do. So, so, so Bob, give me a, uh, give me a strength or dexterity check. But before you do that, um, um, Drex Nero, um, you didn't string that in the first place, right? That wasn't you, right? Oh, okay, just checking. Would anybody like to help him? <laughs> I'll help him because I'm a ranger, so I'm pretty sure I know how to fucking do that. That sounds good. So you can do this at advantage. Good, because I I don't know how to create any weapon. I just think about them and they appear. You string that motherfucking bow like nobody's business. It is. It looks perfect. It Would you like so to try to strong. hit it? Would you like to try it out on something? Spectral sure. bear, maybe? No, no, not on the spectral bears. I'll, I'll wait till, till we encounter Watch other bad this guys. be the only good roll he does with a crossbow, like, ever. It's a, it's a long bow, isn't it? It is a long bow. Oh, yeah, that one. Daytimer puts a shield up on a tree to see if you want to shoot at that. There you go. I'm sure I'll give it a test shot. Okay. With a 10, that does not hit. I don't know. What's it? it, it so it's it, back it, to normal. It kind of clipped I, the, the edge of it. But I so long as the string doesn't string... break, I think we'll be all right. I I think think the the great, string was the problem. I think maybe the whole thing was the problem. Um, and it is broken. And you should just let it go. Does anybody know how to remove curses? <laughs> It was the bow part, not the string part. I still can't cook, so no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta power through it, baby. Power through. Know your strengths. But, uh, Alexandra, thank you for helping me string the bow. I appreciate that. Restring it. You're welcome, hot pants. What? what? Too bad she can't just make you a new bow. 
I don't think the bow was the problem. Then what is it? The literally, sword works excellent. Literally, yeah, but those aren't the same motions by any means. So it's getting to be, let's see, that was three hours and 15 minutes. Uh, let's say about 15 minutes of looting here. Let's say it's about noon. So lunch? I'll cook. Okay. Uh, survival check. He he uh, he has uh, some uh, fish and some potatoes and some carrots, and you make it taste so delightful, so succulent that everybody wants to eat. Look, you I... were wrong about your cooking. I've never done this before. I'm just <laughs> such a good whistler. <laughs> <laughs> Clarification. <And> that... <laughs> Go ahead, Jess. I, 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 I was, I was, uh, I was queuing you up. I cannot remember the name of that movie right now. Madagascar, Madagascar Two. Two. Yes. There we are. Sorry. In Madagascar Two, there's a character, and he thinks he's just really good at whistling, and so he's like, "I would quit my job full time, but I'm just such a good whistler." But he's really bad. Yeah. It's yeah. Like... He, he whistles like this. <laughs> <laughs> like I do, and you wanted me to whistle the last time. Yeah, you guys have a lot in common. <laughs> so, three to one to one. If you're All keeping right. score at home. Right. <laughs> but also, you should watch that movie. I don't think you are like King Julian, but he's fucking hilarious. So starting a fire, getting all this stuff out, cooking, eating is going to take about an hour. And if anybody wants to, we're going to call this a short rest. Cool. Yes, please. You can spend hit dice. Those that get spell things back in a short rest, get those back in a short rest. So as a high elf, we get, do we get everything back? Britt? Uh, sorry, what? Who? What? We get we get everything back on a short rest. Um, is Dreve there? Don't believe so. Because yeah, I don't we, think only, we, get everything. we only need to. So, is a short rest two or four hours? I believe it's four. So that's all we need a night. Uh, yeah, but we're we're not actually sleeping or resting. We're in a trance when we're doing that, which I think is different. We're very trance I'm looking it up just a second. Okay. That's what I thought. I didn't think it had to be four hours. It might be more for getting spells back and something. I'm not sure about that, so let me know. Um, no, mine just says it just specifies that it happens on a short rest. Um, it doesn't say how long that has to be. Okay, so I get my spells back. What about my health? Yeah, you get everything that a normal person would benefit from eight hours of sleep. Okay, that's what I thought. You, uh, and, and how long? In four but hours. that's four hours, right? We aren't stopping for lunch for four hours, are we? What about second lunch and third lunch? <laughs> Supper and dinner, let's not forget. Daytimer mentions that the hour is okay, but if you want to get there before dark, that's about as long as you should take. But, you know, it's up Okay, to you. so then you I'm not going to get anything back. You can spend hit dice to get yeah. hit points. The dice, though. Oh. 
I don't want to pull too far ahead, so I'm not going to say anything about the critical fail there. I also should have. So do I, I just am... ignore that one? What? No. You, you've rolled two hit dice, you get a six and a four, so you get ten. Okay. For two hit dice, make sure you're keeping track of how many hit dice you spent. I am. Okay. Are we all ready to continue? Yeah. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Let's see. Not it. Not it, because I had the bugbears. I believe everyone has rolled but me. You are next in the list. Roll, baby. 100, please. Oh, Lord. So if a 62 gave us bugbears, what will a 96 do? We find a mound of gold. We find flowers and gold. butterflies. Fuck flowers, we find gold. Yes, I think, I think we should find treasure that someone just left in the middle of the road when we hit the 90th percentile. But, like, with no curses. Yeah, no curses. No protections, just, like, straight gold. None of that, like, black pearl skeleton shit. Yeah, maybe, like, some platinum in there, too? Just, like, a smattering of platinum, please? Anyone else want to speculate? Is it a Tarasque? Do you want to know what the role told me to do, or what my rules in my head is going to do? <laughs> or, or both? 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 <laughs> Okay, let me roll for it then. It was a 96, right? Mm hmm. Five stone giants. Oh my god. Are they friendly? Now, do you want to know what the actual thing is going to be? It's a uh, earthquake. Ah! <laughs> Is this just a table of, like, things to fuck you up? Like, are there any good roll options besides, like, fewer fewer things to fight? Yes. The ground shakes. The, uh... You see off in the distance behind you, and especially you, uh... Casimir, because you're in the back of the wagon. Uh, you see a fire plume coming out of the ground and some lava. Uh, where you are, the wagon starts shaking more than it has before. And uh, it's you notice, both of you two in the wagon notice that you're starting to sink. And daytime where it starts freaking out and running towards the back where you are, to, uh, Kaz. Uh, and let me get visual. Not map. Let me just uncover. Uh, so the cart is sinking into what you see as a bog. Uh, and he starts freaking out. He runs back to the back of the wagon where you are and says, get out of the way! Everybody out! So, and he jumps in the back of the wagon into the back compartment and he's fishing around for something. What do you do? Uh, I'll definitely get out of his way. <laughs> but also, that is lava. That fire lava. That That is the thing can, that is happening. You can see it's about 50 yards away, so 150 feet away behind you. Daytimer, what are you looking for? And he doesn't answer you. He's just intense on getting out of there. You on the horses, the horses are going to reel. Uh, so give me an animal handling or dex check save. Animal handling or dex save. Okay. Is she at her desk? Yeah, sorry, trying to find the thing. Okay. 
Shit. Uh, you fall off your horse and it bolts forward and you take uh, five points of damage on the fall. <sighs> All of a sudden, uh, Tony, you got off, right? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. All of a sudden, the cart disappears into the ground with Daytimer in the back. What? Oh, no. Like in a sinkhole sort of way? It was slow. He got in the back, you guys got off, and then it just went, it disappeared from sight. But the horses are Shit. still there, connected to it. The, the, I don't know what you call that piece that goes between them, like the but rod? that snaps off and the horses are still there. Oh, it snapped. But the, the, okay. the cart itself just went straight down. Is there any, is there anything around us, like trees or anything? Uh, there's a tree that looks pretty sturdy. That's about 20 feet away. Okay. Is does, it... It, does anybody have rope? Uh, oh, no. If we had regular nope. tracks, we would. None of us have rope. Shit. Okay. Um, is it completely submerged? Or you, do you look at the front of the cart. Do you see that bar? So there's the bar going across, and then the, there's the bar that connects to the horses. I'm assuming the bar that connects to the horses is the one that broke. I'm going to try to print ping, like right about here. It snapped, so the horses pulled forward. Right, but it's the, the, the bar that's going this way that broke, not the bar that's going this way. The bar that's between the two horses right. so snapped off. Is, is, the, is the bar that's going this way, right in front of the cart, is it visible? You mean, is it sticking out from behind the horses? No, is it sticking up from the bog, from the cart? No, it sank straight down. And the, does anybody have any magical rope? Like, you can summon? summon I'm going to try and corral those two horses that are now broken free. I'll try and help you. I'm guessing my bears are gone, right? No. Drax, are you going to... Oops, sorry. Those, those are some misshapen horses. I'm trying. It's not cooperating. They're well fed, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they are very lumpy. What? Stop body shaming the horses, man. Should I, uh, should I switch to the map for the, for the stream? They do sure. not know what we're talking about. Jux and I are corralling horses. We'll call that a bog. All right. Um, so the bears are Fabies. I'm I'm gonna ask them to dig out the cart. I'm gonna try and uh, like if I stand next to where the cart was and reach in, can I feel it? Like how far does it go? Like my entire arm length down? There's a, thin, there's a thin cover of sod uh, that's damp and branches and things. Uh, once you poke through that, uh, you feel just water. I thought I was going to burn off your hand because of that color. I would like to take a deep breath and dive in. Okay. You dive in and you immediately feel a current. Oh dear. 
do I do I need to make a strength check or something? Can I see anything? I'm going to let you make a strength or dex save. Oh, you, you want to do a perception while you're down there? Yeah. You have dark vision? Yes. How far? 60. Okay. It looks like murky water, but you don't see the wagon or a day timer. Now, if you'd like to go with the current, you kind of keep grabbing at branches right at the opening where you dove in, but they keep breaking off. Does anybody want to try and help? Yes. Um, I'm going to grab the longest branch that I can find around and just put it in the water. I don't know what's going on down there, but I'm just going to... She hasn't come back. He hasn't come back up. You can start poking. I'm just going to extend it down into the water as far as I can while keeping a good grip on it, just in case. Okay. Um, what would that be? Let's do a survival. Dexterity prop. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in the name, so why not use it? That's very good. So. I'd like you to try to grab it again now that that's there. Uh, you're kind of stopping the, you're, you're kind of keeping yourself in place, but not very well. So you're kind of slipping away. So give it another dex. Still, you couldn't quite reach the branch. Uh, with but your role I of survival. I felt him trying. I felt him your, hit it. Say, with your roll of 25, you got a clearer picture of where Kaz was. So uh, you don't think you could reach with your hand, uh, but you can try one more time to roll a survival to try to get her out of the bog. And mm -hmm. if you can beat that roll, I will let you get out with another deck save. You managed to grip Yay! onto <laughs> the branch. Now, uh, let's see, Taviana, I want you to use strength, and you have to beat, I'm going to give you your roll, you have to beat a 14. Does anybody want to help her? I'll grab the other horse from Nara and say, go. Um, I was screaming this whole time, so they know something's going on. Yeah, I run, I run towards her and give her a hand. Okay, if any one of you can roll over a 14, you can get her out. Or him out, excuse me. It's a him, Strength. Right? Strength. Excellent. So where does this current take me? There's one more <laughs> roll, right? Is there? Um, Alexandra is handling the horses. Oh. We can switch. So I said, damn uh, it, Naru. Naru, get over here. Okay, you're, you're still on the branch. Yeah, you're I not yelled that I can still go. feel him. He's still so, here. Somebody get him. I want you to make a con save, Jess. Yay, Brett. Okay. Yeah, you say. manage to hold your breath longer than you think you should be able to, and you're able to pull, uh, what's your name, Kaz, out. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than lose you forever. I thought that was probably a better <laughs> choice. And I'm going to pull the the branch that we're holding, the, the stick that we're, whatever, the big log we're holding on to. And as soon as I can see one of Kaz's hands, I'm going to grab his hand with my hand and pull him all the way out. Yep, yeah, I help. Excellent. You Thanks. pick well, Kaz up, grabbing, shake him up. Yeah, you, you grabbed him, picked him up, shook him, and put him down. You shook him just to get the water off and the, and the fog Some of the off, silt, and yeah. There is a lot of water down there and a very strong current. Those horses not, are really bad, aren't they? I could not see the there they go. That's wagon good. anymore. I think it got swept away. Can I, really, I tell which direction it went? It went towards where the horses, the two horses are. All right. So map north. 
Kaz, when I pull you out, I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, you need to get better about this not dying on me shit. I'll try. So all of that took about 20 minutes. Let's call it 15 just for evensies. Okay, so um, there's a stream. Well, there's an underground river of some sort. Should we try and find out where it lets out? If it lets out. Can you become a swimming creature now? Everybody make a history check. Everybody remembers daytime were saying that there were waters under the ground that move everywhere. It's part of the, the makeup of this land. Uh, there's fish down there and all that stuff, but uh, you're not sure if it actually would let out because it's just underground water. I think we should try to to go that direction a bit to, to see. Do you can you turn into swimming things yet? Yes. Um, remember, I already did. I can turn into water oh, right. again. Yes, you got us out as a octopus. You mean you could go down there? Is something that can breathe down there and see where he went? All right, let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to go to the edge and I'm going to jump in. And as I'm jumping in, I'm going to cast. Are you thinking or did you mark stop working? I'm looking for the stupid spell. Wild shape. Oh yeah, that's it's not a spell. It's automatic. Yep. All right. So, and I'm going to do that. Yep, and turn into that. <laughs> um, it would have probably been good if we'd mentioned to him that I could do that so that he wouldn't be surprised when I come up upon him. I think he's surprised by a lot of things. He's been down there for 15 minutes. He might be unconscious. Um, do you, are you intending to like swim out after him or you just want to take a look? Like, do you want me to hold on to a tentacle? The type of animal that this is, I do not need air. So I'm just going to swim after him. Okay. Cool. Hold, well, no, hold on to a tentacle. Um, I'm going to look, well, if I don't see him, what does that mean? I'm not going to swim after him. I mean, I guess if you're going to swim after him anyway, then yeah, go. Yeah, I'm going. You, you have 60 feet of dark vision and a plus six to perception. You can hold your breath for an hour out of water. That's true. I can. It doesn't say how long your reach would be. Let's see your giant octopus though. My reach is 15 feet for, for, you know, weapon or for fighting. So I would imagine it would be the same. So we'll call it 30 feet. If you're stretching one tentacle out and somebody else is holding your other one. Are you holding or, or are no, you not? No, because you said we couldn't see him, so I'm just going after. I'm gonna going in that direction. Do you want to test if you can beat the current with your speed? Yes. Okay, so I'll hold your tentacle while you test that. Just to make sure that you can get back. You can swim faster up current than... Uh, the current is going so you can slide it's it's gonna be really slow getting back if you do But she can control where she's going she's not gonna get swept away right and I can breathe for cool. forever underwater well, Cool, then but I can only stay in this shape for two hours right so go find him I'm going so to find him for two hours So I tug twice on my tentacle to let her know to let go Him 
Oh, I lost my page marker. Yeah, let's go. I'll deal with the whole page marker fiasco later. Um, <laughs> you swim down into there. You, you uh, go ahead and make a perception. Uh, not an advantage of so 10. Uh, you don't quite see him. You're about, let's say, what was your movement? 60? Sorry, looking, uh, yeah, 60. We'll say it doubles with the current this way. Uh, and you don't see anything. You do see that it's about 30 feet deep until another form of land is there. Do you want to keep going? Yes. OK, one more perception, not at advantage. Uh, I don't have control over that on this sheet. OK, we'll take your first roll. Uh, you see up ahead on the bottom, the cart. You're going to try to aim for it? Yes. You, and you I can have get a giant there. I mean, octopus. So will I, will I be able to put it up on the land? I closed your sheet. My strength is 17 plus 3. All right, I see that. Um, you can go ahead and let's go ahead and roll a strength check. You grip the cart, and you can't make any headway into the current with... Uh, you can make really slow progress by dragging it and, and swimming and dragging and swimming. Um, let's say about 5. You were doing 120. So you did 240. So that'll take several rounds to get it back out. Do you want to do that? Yes. So at five feet a, a turn, that's uh, 48 turns to get it back. So 48 times six seconds is what? Let's just call it five minutes just to be easy. Uh, it's on the bottom, though. It's you're kind of dragging the wheels so the wheels are turning. That's how you're able to do this. Um, but the current should be helping me, too. Guy in it? Th no, um, coming back to us, it's against the current. Oh, yeah, it was double oh, that, so wait, about no, 10 no. minutes. So, yeah. so hang on. So what was at the end? So it was at the bottom. Was there no up? There was no up. There, it, it had apparently just like stuck on some rocks at the bottom you know it's not smooth all smooth there there was some you know cracks and and stuff every so often it was just stuck at the bottom with rocks so you're just dragging it back uh is dragging it along the bottom all right in it though I haven't looked for him is the guy in it because the wagon doesn't need to breathe so Sorry, he, he got talk. into the back of the wagon did he close the doors when he got in no. So they're still open. Yes. I look inside. You see some fire starters just kind of flowing around inside, but you don't see daytimer. I look around for him. Is this after you have uh, been dragging it for a while? I would have been looking out for him the entire time. Okay. Uh, you uh, even if you crit the perception, he's gone. It's a really fast current. All right, I'm gonna drag it back and push it up. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be difficult, so this will be a strength check.
You get it about halfway up. One more strength check. You get the very top of the wagon poking through. So you guys can see it now. You'll go wagon. It does what it turned. I reach one of my tentacles up and wave at them madly. Okay. Um, I mean, I will pull on the wagon, but I, I definitely can't lift the wagon on a good day. I'm going to say if everybody does a strength check, and I'll, I'll discount that one, and gets over a 15, you can get the wagon out. If you don't, if one of you fails, then no. So you, you just can't get it out. All right, so if I, so we've got a wagon. If I can tilt the wagon this way, um, then they would be able to see if there's anything worth anything inside, right? I want the, I want the back of it to be at the top. Okay, you can, let's, uh, that's a octopus dexterity check. Quick question. Uh, do the horses that came off the wagon still have their harnesses on them? Like with all yeah. the straps and stuff? Yeah, unless you guys, unless we took them off while she was down there, which we didn't. Could we quickly jerry rig the leather straps and kind of hook it up just MacGyver style to the wagon and then try and have the horses help us pull it out? They're still connected by that bar. If you take them off, they're not connected to that bar. Um, I'm not sure how you can do just simple wagon bridles to attach it to the, the cart. Convention. Yeah, I don't, I don't know necessarily how that would work because we don't have any materials which we can use to connect the horses and the cart. Yeah, we don't have any. But the straps we and the bar are still connected through the horses, are they not? Or do the horses like fly off the harness? But those weren't connected. So the part that connects the horse and the wagon broke. They still have their bridles. You can't attach their bridle to the wagon. There's, it's just a rod. Okay. So, like, what would you anchor it to? Gotcha. All right. Yeah, the closest, thing, it, the closest thing you could do is their reins, which would limit, would give them, you know, the wrong message, and it, that would be a mess. Yeah. Besides, let's yeah. be real, reins aren't that thick. Yeah. And horse necks aren't that strong. Yeah. Right, right. Um. So, can... I'm going to say, okay, so what you've done by tilting it, is it's the back end of it is open, but it's at water level. You can't get it out, but it's at water level with the back open. Uh, can I get in there, like directly into the wagon, so that I don't have to do the strength thing with the Certainly. current? Certainly. Okay, I'll uh, uh, I'll I'm take sure a that deep... everybody's holding the wagon as much as they can in place. Yeah, um, I'll uh, I'll dive in there and see if there's anything that I can salvage. You notice the uh, where? Excuse me, I got a thing in my throat. You notice the uh, part where Daytimer was actively searching for something uh, was a hidden compartment that's open, and you do see a bag in there. You also see many of the fire starters just kind of they didn't fly out. There's significantly less of them, uh, but you see like five of those. Um, you see. Uh, what else do you see? Uh, you don't find the hides that were tanning on top from the hyenas. Uh, Damn it! And there's a sack of potatoes in there and a sack of carrots uh, that are just like attached to the wall so they wouldn't fall out. And uh, also in that um, hidden compartment is a small box. All right. Um... You can get two things and still be able to get out of the cart. So you might have to let go of the potatoes and the carrots. You can go back for a second trip if you really want them. Okay. Um, I'll grab the box and the bag from the hidden compartment. Can I like shove a couple of the fire starters into my armor? All right. Sure. How many would you like? Uh, you said there were five, right? Can I grab all those without running out of breath? I'm going to say there's probably 20 floating around in there. Oh, damn. All right. Um, so why don't you roll me a 1d10? All right. 
And that's how many I'll let you have. And so, oh, the, that was, oh you get 10. <laughs> Damn. Wait. Um, all right. So I will uh, all hand the bags up to Naruhito and um, Ix. Do I have time? Like, is the wagon sinking again? Can I go back for the food? Let's do a round of uh, strength checks for the other three. And me too, huh? Yeah. Although you're holding it in place, the two on the top, you can feel that the bottom is starting to sway towards the direction of the current. So it's starting to tilt. Yeah, and the ground is not being really helpful for the two holding it. Can I grab the potatoes with my tail as I get out? That's going to be a high level of dexterity. Which did not happen. <laughs> You're gonna have to say goodbye to the potatoes. Damn it! All right. Um. So I'll I'll crawl out and let it go. You want to sing a song about that? I don't. Eh, that song never bothered me anyway. <laughs> you managed to climb out. Um, the cart's starting to go. Uh, Taviana. Do you want to hold on to it and see where it takes you? <laughs> no, I'm going to let it go. And... Do you want to sing a song about that? Uh, yes, underwater as an octopus, yes. <laughs> um, so, and then I'm going to... What would that sound up. like? <laughs> Is it a whistle? <laughs> that didn't count. That didn't count. You didn't get another point there. Just, sorry. Just this finger, not the other finger. No, and that was to the that was perfect. That's exactly what that sounded like. All right, and I throw myself out on the ground. Okay, you can you can uh, hold your breath for an hour. I am going to go ahead and change back to me. Okay. So, what's next? Well, that was unfortunate. You you did not find that man. Didn't see him anywhere. <laughs> Shit. She still had some octopus stuck in her throat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did what did you find in the cart? I I found a bag and a box and I could not get the potatoes and also these and I just start pulling fire starters out of my shirt. You get a fire starter and you get a fire starter and you get a fire starter. Um. So so um. Cass here. Um. Uh, what? Not Cass. Cass. Um. What? We we have lighters. So what is the benefit of the fire starter? We could sell them. He was going to sell them. Oh, okay. And do... So, I didn't see him. I went to the end of where the water went. I didn't see him anywhere. So, that confuses me. Did you? No, you didn't. Oh. You went That's to where the wagon the was, stopped. and then you couldn't see him. Oh. So, anyway, he might have survived. Doubtful, but he might have survived. Um, you know... If if he was able to do spells, maybe he you know maybe he shifted to another plane. Who knows what he did? But um, do you want to keep his things intact to try to return to him?
Me? Yeah, I want to keep it. No, I, I'm not a player. I forget. <laughs> Which character of mine do you want to ask? Would, that um... One of his rogues. <laughs> I'm very curious about what he was hiding. Um, because of my patron and occupation, would I be able to tell if he's alive or not? Tell me about your patron. I, I don't think your occupation, you weren't down there. So, I mean, you were in the cart. You saw some claw marks uh, leading from where he was digging to outside. What would your patron do for you? The Raven Queen, right? Um, She rules the Shadowfell, um, which is... Uh... Mm -hmm. goddess of death yeah um so she concerns herself with ensuring that those fated to die pass from the world as expected and bids her agents to defeat those who seek to cheat death through undeath or imitations or immortality she hates undead and expects her followers to strike them down Um, so yeah, she's, she's essentially a, a death goddess. Yeah. And do you have like her phone number or how do you talk to her? Um, does she ever talk back when you've talked to her in the past? Uh, yeah, because she's like directly saved me. Um, she's also the one who like, sh she's the one that gave me my powers. So like my eldritch abilities in particular i think come directly from her do you have to meditate to know that or how do you contact her i'm not sure i'm looking Um, it doesn't really say anything about contacting her between levels. Like she, she can provide new abilities when I level, but, um, it doesn't give me like a, I don't know. It doesn't the, give you her phone number. Yeah. The paladins have an, uh, like a specific ability to pray or something, don't they, to their gods? And get an answer. Is that clerics? I think that's clerics. I'm trying to help you too. How about this? Until we until we figure that out, um, I'm going to let you meditate for 15 minutes as just a way to contact. Okay. Um, why don't you roll a religion check for me? As just a, way, a, a mechanic for this one time until we figure that out. You get a busy signal. 
Sure. Is that, is that fair for now? I mean, yeah. Or we could just have the last nine minutes just be of us just looking things up. No, it's all right. Let's uh, let's move on. So what's in the bag? I, in the bag? I too want to know. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, I was going to say, I want to, since this is the first bog that we've come across that was newly formed, I kind of want to do a detect portal. Is that a spell you have? It is an innate ability that I get for being a Horizon Walker. But yeah, it's a spell thing too. Um, you have to cast it, it or something, or is there a mechanic to it, or do you just know? It's a, it is a magical sense ability that I get. It doesn't say anything about casting, but I can sense the presence of planar portals. Um, as an action, I can detect the distance and direction to the closest planar portal within a mile of me. Um, yeah. You sense no portals within a mile of you. Okay. I was just checking in case this was like a interdimensional bog hole thing. Well, I mean, you don't sense any planar portals near you within a mile. As a, as opposed to. Well, that's what you said it was. So I was just being more specific. <laughs> okay. There are no portals near you. No portals for us. Not within a mile. What's in the box? Who opens the box? I will. It's locked. Sleight of hand. Okay. You push it here, push it there. <laughs> Ping! Pops open, and you find uh, six large gems, each worth a hundred gold pieces. Damn. The bag you feel is jingly with coin. Do you open it? I'll look in, yeah. It has 400 gold pieces in it. Fucking sweet! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's dead, we're rich. If I had known that's all it took. And there, you didn't want to keep the bandit mask. Actually, that's not true. My chaotic, my character is chaotic good, so that is not something that she would do, think, or say. <laughs> I was just looking at your alignment. That's something me, the player, would, would do. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work on that character voice. You hear in the distance, uh, leaving you. <laughs> Oh no! Bye! Follow that monkey! It's not a wait, monkey. Wait, was trying? that... Are we uh, gonna, like, that was the word. Was that... No, I was just... Part of me is wondering if, like, they have a bond, and so if the monkey's like, I will follow you down river, friend! Right, is it, was that daytimers, uh, we're, we're, we're June? Well, then on not a monkey. Good job. Um, it did sound like a Weirjun. You can't be sure if it was that specific Weirjun. If you want to tell if you can tell where it's going, you can roll perception. Anyone? I would like to shout in its direction. Is he dead? No response. All right, he told with a 26. It's going uh, three degrees south of northwest. <laughs> but the road is kind of heading off to the north, 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 northeast. So a slight bend to the left. And it, it's going that way. I think that was three degrees past northwest. I'm going to go to the 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 cart horses and 
um, strip off all the unnecessary stuff, but leave like the the rain part of it and rig it so that they can be ridden and used as reins. You are uh, successful at removing all the wood pieces, disconnecting them from each other, uh, and it, you can ride it as a bareback horse. For the most part, I mean, it doesn't. It has you. You take all the bumpy pieces off that would irritate you while you ride, but you know they can be ridden. But as a bareback, they don't have the stirrups. Is that the right word for the feet places? Yep. They don't have an accelerator or brake, um, <laughs> but you See, could uh, manage. When you ride a horse, your butt is the brake. It has. And it has your butt. And your and your legs are the accelerator. So it has those, but it doesn't have the pedals. Anyone else want to do anything before um, you move on for the next time? Got three minutes here. Um, I would like to look into the um, mud sinkhole thing and say um if you are alive good luck and if you are dead i hope the raven queen treats you well i guess that's where we'll end it for the day <laughs>